Hello everyone, it is the end of the gauntlet. I'm joined right now by Stixe after an unfortunate loss to Cloud9. Stixe, obviously not the result you guys wanted today. You know, how are things going on the team? I think everyone's pretty pretty down right now. And I mean, yeah, it kind of sucks that we lost. Um, but I mean, for me personally, I'm, I'm just pretty proud of like the progress that we've made in the past couple weeks, given that we were, I mean, we probably had the worst circumstance of any team going into the gauntlet. Uh, just the fact that we, I think we're the only team that actually switched out a member uh, that's so late into the split. And I'm pretty proud of everyone. I think everyone just had a really, really good attitude, really good mindset towards everything, and we improved a lot. Yeah. And um, yeah, it sucks we didn't win, but I'm still pretty happy with our progress. So, Why do you think it is that uh, you guys didn't win today? Uh, it was a lot of small things. I think for most of the time when we were, uh, we started using Omar, we were trying to teach, you know, the fundamentals, all that stuff. And I think we got that down pretty well. And ended up today just being the small things because I mean most other teams have all the fundamentals down especially C9 they've been together for a long time they should have all the fundamentals down so they're working on all the small things all the time yeah. but for us it's like we had to start from the very base of everything so obviously they're gonna be better than us at the small things yeah. so. specifically in this match what held you guys back like what were the issues that you saw on stage or kind of thinking back to it, what specifically kept you from getting the victory um I just think our uh, decisiveness in general was kind of off um, and maybe we're not confident enough to do things when we can do them. Yeah. So, but I mean, I have to go back and look at the games to know exactly what happened. So, so what's the next thing for you guys? Obviously, you have a pretty decent long break over the next couple of months. But you know, what are you looking into the off season? What do you see for yourself? Huh. I mean, the off season, I, I don't really know yet. Um, I know we have a fan meet in New York pretty soon, so we're gonna do that, and then. Um, yeah, I don't really know. I don't think I've ever had a long off season like this because the only last year I played, I went to World, so did all that. But yeah, I, don't, I haven't really had a season yet where I didn't go to World, so it was my yeah. first one. So, what do you expect to see in terms of all the crazy roster swapping and all that kind of thing? Do you expect us to have a more stable off season than last year, or do you think we'll see a lot of movement and different changes? Uh, I think it's kind of hard to know. Um, I think maybe it'll be a little crazy. Uh, this off season, and then maybe the next off season will be more stable. That's how I feel like it is since franchising is uh, yeah. happening next year. So, yeah. very good. Well, is there anything that you would like to say to any of the fans? Uh, yeah, just thanks for supporting us uh, as always. Sorry we let you guys down, but um, yeah, we definitely tried our hardest. Uh, I don't know. We I thought we did pretty well given the circumstance we're in, and we really really did try. So, but sorry we lost. Yeah. No, this was mostly a serious interview. I do have one. Extra serious question to ask you here at the end. What is the deal with everybody spilling cups on their keyboards and their mice and their computer stuff? Why does this keep happening? What is happening? Uh, so for me, the cups that we use, like the lid of it, I always I always drink something, and then when I'm putting it down, it like falls out of the cup somehow, okay. like midair. And but I think the other people are actually just knocking over their cups. Okay. I don't know, but yeah, I've, I've spilled a couple times on stage too, and it's always just like I'm taking a drink. And then I'm putting the drink down, it just flies out the top. And okay. I'm just like, how does it happen? But I think everyone else is actually just knocking over the drink somehow. Yeah. I don't know. But. So maybe for you at least, they haven't done the best job of acquiring the best cups. Yeah, definitely going to have to go over that one in my uh, Players Association thing. Yeah. Is there a big enough, is there enough space? Is that why people are knocking over the cups? Do you think is it, it's like too constrained and so it's too easy to knock it over? I think there's, I think there's enough space. I don't okay. know. I don't know. It's just a... Uh, I think people, I mean, usually when you like walk back to lane and stuff, you're just trying to drink and put it down really fast, yeah. and then you're like, oh shit, I spilled it on accident yeah. or something. So, so no theories on why, why it's like knocking over or whatever. Oh yeah, I don't know about that one. Yeah. That's just spaghetti. Okay. Very good. Well, thank you so much for the interview. It's been informative in different areas, of course, and uh, looking forward to see what the off season holds for you, Stick Say. For everyone else, you can check out the rest of my coverage all the way leading up to Worlds right here on my YouTube channel. Hey everyone, I am updating my support page. I appreciate all the support that I've been given so far, but I'm coming up with some options that don't include necessarily spending money because a lot of people have been asking for that. So you can go check out all that new stuff over at travisgafford.com support.